All right, good morning. All right, happy Tuesday, everyone. It is day two of our prayer week. We pray Monday through Friday. Who's ready to win the day this morning? All right, you're here. You're in the right place. If, if you want to win the day, you are in the right place. Alex, you're in the right place this morning. Sandy, you're in the right place this morning if you want to win the day. We've been talking about prayer since January 1st. Good morning, Yvonne. Good morning, Chris. Great to see you this morning. Everyone joining us on this crisp fall morning. Let's go, Ben. Let's get it done this morning. Now, I got to, to church this morning. It was about 31 degrees, so we are, we are clearly into the fall season, and I'm uh, ready to pray with you this morning and get, get going. So um, we've been looking at different kinds of prayer, prayers of faith, prayers of supplication, prayers of thanksgiving. We took a long time and looked at prayers of deliverance. Now we're going back. Frankie's ready this morning. Now we're going back and we're looking at prayers of declaration. A prayer of declaration is when in the place of prayer, you declare God's truth. You, you pray scripture. You, you declare the word of God to be true in your life. And that's what we're going to do again this morning. Uh, we've been, we're, we're looking at the names of God. And that's because prayer always begins with God, not with us. Prayer doesn't begin with our knowledge. Prayer begins with a knowledge of who God is. That's why Jesus said in Matthew 6, verse 9, pray this way. He said, pray, our Father in heaven. In other words, there's a picture of who God is. He's a Father. He cares. He loves. Uh, he, he desires what's best, like, like any good Father. So we come to the Lord in prayer, recognizing that He's our Father in heaven. And then Jesus said the second thing to pray is, hallowed be your name. And what does that phrase mean, hallowed be your name? It means let your name, let your character, let, let the names of God in Scripture be exalted. Let, let God's name be lifted above everything. Let God's name be exalted in all of the earth. Let God's name be known among the nations. So we, we have to know the name of God or the names of God in Scripture. If we can, if we can pray that that name, that, that character, those attributes of God would be real in our lives. So yesterday we started with the most common, really the most common name of God in, in the Bible. And that is, I don't know if it's used the most, but it's close to, to Yahweh. But Elohim, Elohim is the very first mention of God in the Bible. Genesis 1.1 says, in the beginning, Elohim created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, Elohim. The God of creation. We said yesterday that Elohim means the supreme God. The, 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 the God of creation, the God of power, the, the supreme God of all might. And so we said that sometimes uh, the name Elohim gets shortened just to El. And then other names are added, compound names are added to El, like El Olam. Uh, we mentioned some others, El Elyon, El Roi. And today we're talking about another compound name of Elohim, and that is El Shaddai. El Shaddai. Elohim Shaddai. The supreme God added with, added to Shaddai. So what, is, what does Shaddai mean? Shaddai has a couple of different nuances. One is, Shaddai means the overpowerer. So, so El, the supreme God, and, and then the, the one that overpowers, the, the one whose purpose will be established. No one can thwart the purpose of God. No one can stand in the way of the purpose of God. He's the, the Almighty, the Supreme God, who establishes His purpose. El Shaddai is one who, who overpowers everything in the world in order, to over, in order to establish His purpose. In other words, the purpose of God cannot be stopped. God's purposes will prevail. So, so the, the, the overpowerer is one aspect of Shaddai. But there's another aspect. Uh, the other aspect of Shaddai is sufficiency, or the all-sufficient one. El, Elohim, the all-powerful God, the one who is sufficient. The one who is sufficient to meet every need. Now, there's a, there's a second little twist in that where it, it, there, there, it, one of the nuances is of a child uh, uh, feeding at its mother's breast. And so, some people say El Shaddai means the many-breasted one, the, the one from whom we find our nourishment and our sufficiency. So there's the, the overpower, and then there's the, the nurturer, the one that provides nutrition, the one that provides resource, the one that provides everything that we need. That, 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 that concept of all-sufficient 
means God is enough. Elohim, the God who is enough. Uh, enough to meet all of our needs. More than sufficient to take care of our needs today. So where do we see El Shaddai in the Bible? The name El Shaddai. El Shaddai is mentioned over 40 times in the Bible. And the first time it's mentioned is Genesis 17.1. God appears to Abraham. And God speaks to Abraham. And, and God had already promised Abraham a son. It had been 25 years, and, and Abraham and Sarah did not have a son. Abraham had a son through Sarah's maid, uh, uh, Ishmael, but, but not the son of promise. They were still waiting on God to give them an heir. Uh, Abraham and Sarah had not yet had a kid together. And so God is reminding Abraham of his promise to provide him a son. Now listen to what he says, Genesis 1, 17, 1 to 5. When Abraham was 99 years old, that's important because Abraham was beyond natural childbearing years. He didn't have the ability to produce a child with his wife. When Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty, walk before me, and be blameless. I am El Shaddai. I am El Shaddai. God, Elohim, the sufficient one. Elohim, the one who is all powerful. Elohim, the one who, and Shaddai, the one who is enough. So he appears to Abraham. He says, I know it's been 24 years since I made that promise that you would have a child. I want you to know my purpose will be established. I want you to know nothing's going to stand against my purpose. I want you to know that, that my power is greater than anything that would stand in the way of my purpose for your life being established. And then he says, the, I, I'm the all-sufficient one. I'm enough. Abraham, do you believe I'm enough? And that's the question El Shaddai asks you today. Do you believe that I'm enough? Do you believe that I'm, I'm your sufficiency? Like a child nursing at its mother's breast, do you believe I'm all that you need? That, that's the name El Shaddai. He's enough, sufficient, all that we need, right? So he, God promises to establish his covenant with Abraham. He goes on. Abraham fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with you, and, and you will be the father of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be called Abram, but you shall be called Abraham, for I've made you the father of a multitude of nations. Even though Abraham didn't have a child yet, he's, he's reaffirming his promise. He's saying, Abraham, I know you and your wife naturally don't have the ability to bear a child. I know that, but I'm El Shaddai. I'm the all-sufficient one. I'm enough. I'm all that you need. You don't need anything else. You don't need uh, Sarah's maid. You don't need anybody else to have this child. I'm going to produce it in and of myself. I'm enough for you. Now, wh why is that important? You know, you know there's times that, that we, have, we have nothing to hope in for change except God. But there's, there's other times we pray for other sources or resources to help us. Let me give you an example. Uh, someone's going in for surgery. So we pray for the doctors to perform the surgery well, or that the doctors would know what to do, or that the medication would work. That's not complete dependence on God. That's dependence maybe on a doctor or medicine or other people. Nothing wrong with that. I, hear me. There's nothing wrong with praying that God would use physicians, God would use medicine, and all of that. That's totally fine. All right, but, but, but that's an example of how we pray for things besides just God to, to help us in our lives. We often pray for people to help us with our, with our problems, right? Um, we, we often pray for, for God to expedite a situation by, by pushing paperwork through or working through a judge if we're in court or something like that. We, our, our, our missionary Kendra in Ethiopia wasn't able to get her visa, so we were praying that, that the paperwork would, would be pushed through so that she could... She could come home in time, or, or I'm sorry, get back to Ethiopia in time. So sometimes we pray for resources that are already there to be, to be turned in the right direction. But, but why is the name El Shaddai important? And this is what I want to say this morning. Because of this. What if there is no human help in a situation? What if all you have is God? What if there's not a doctor to do surgery? What if there's not medicine to help? What if there's not a judge that can, uh, you know, render a verdict in your, what, what if all you have is God? What if it's God or nothing? That's what, that's when Abraham, God came to Abraham and he said, Abraham, don't fear. Don't be afraid. I am El Shaddai. I am the God of all sufficiency. I am enough. 
And maybe this morning, you just need to, to come before the Lord and say, God, you're enough. You're my sufficiency. No matter what I face today, I trust you. No matter what I face today, I'm confident in you. No matter what I, tr what I face today, Lord, you are my sufficiency. I'm putting all of my trust in you. Okay. You know, let me just give you an example. We're, we're in a, a building expansion project, and we've been raising funds for that. And, and it's easy to begin to say, well, you know, Lord, there's a lot of people with money in our church. And boy, if, if that family gave, we'd, we'd probably reach our goal. Or, or if that person gave, then we'd, you know, and that's just, that's looking to man. And, and, and God just keeps reminding me as we go through this, this fundraising campaign that it's not about what that person can do. Do you believe I'm your sufficiency. Do you believe I'm enough? Do you believe I can, I can fulfill my purpose without anybody? I mean, like I can do it through, through means you don't even know about. So, so we come to the Lord today and we say, hallowed be your name. You are El Shaddai. You're the all-sufficient one. You're enough. And so as we come to prayer today, we just got to say that. Lord, you're enough. You're my sufficiency. I don't see any other hope. I don't see any, any other person helping me. I don't see any other means of, of restoration or provision in my life. God, it's you or nothing. And so today we come to El Shaddai, El, Elohim, the all-powerful God, the God of all creation, the God who created something from nothing, that God coupled with Shaddai, the one who is sufficient, the one who is enough, the one who meets all of my needs. We're going to pray this morning, friends. Bring that need to the Lord. Lord, this morning, we declare by faith, you are El Shaddai, Elohim Shaddai, the God of all supremacy, the God of all power, the God of all creation. Nothing's too hard for you. And you are Shaddai. You are the many-breasted one. You're the one that we come to as a child for our sufficiency, for our nourishment, for our nutrients. You're the one that provides everything that we need. So, Lord, Help us today not to look to man, not to look to physical means of provision, but to look to you. El Shaddai, the all-sufficient God, we trust you today. And we pray, Lord, that you would do what no one else could do. You would answer prayer when no one else can help us. You would provide for us when, when no one else can provide for us, God. We love you this morning. We trust you with this issue. We trust you with this prayer request. And we declare our God, El Shaddai, is enough. Just say that this morning, friends. You want to win the day? Just say this. God is enough. El Shaddai is enough. For me and my family and all of our needs, El Shaddai is more than enough. It's going to be a great Tuesday, day two. You're going to win it today by faith. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless.